Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be my update for my Project Pan Roulette that I'm doing in collaboration with a few lovely ladies. They will be linked down below as always. This is the second update. Uh, we've been going since November the 1st and it will continue through until November the 1st of next year or yeah, October 31st. Close enough. So we picked out 15 items. Um, at the last update I had already used one and picked out a new one. I have actually uh, finished another one and I have two that are almost finished so I'm basically going to count them as finished so I can pull new things uh, before the rest of the month. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, the month will be... I won't have 15 items to work on for the whole month. So. The thing that I finished last time was actually in this container, which I've since put something else in. This was the Suki Exfoliating Face Scrub. Um, I've put a luminizer, cream luminizer in it, because it's container broke. Um, if you're watching my makeup collection, you would have seen that. <laughs> so, the other product I finished, I actually finished today. And this is the Elf Lip Exfoliator... She's all the way down to the plastic. So that one is now done. Thank God for that. I really didn't like the product very much. The two that are almost done, and so I'm going to draw new ones for. Um, the first one is the Nivea Night Cream. Um, there's less than a week left in there. So that's not going to take me very long to finish up. So I'm counting that one as done, and um, what was the other one? Wow, brain did not work then. Ah, oh. the Pond's Miracle Age BB Cream. There is probably only one or two applications left in this one. Um, I don't know 100%, but I'm having to squeeze pretty hard to get any like product out so I'm thinking it probably won't be that much longer until this one is done so I'm going to pull one out for that one so I have three more to pick for this time but on to the other things that haven't been used up uh, the first one is the Avon bronzing Arabian glow bronzing pearls these are one of those ones that it's going to be really hard to see any kind of progress in it because they are like bronzing pearls but I know that I'm using them, so that's that's the main thing as far as I'm concerned. Um, the product that I would only buy on sale is my Seshvite. Um, I haven't actually used very much in the last month. Um, the last two months I've been super duper slack basically with um, doing these things, like my nails, very often. So I've only refilled once. Brown line there is where I started up there, and that's where we are now. I just refill my little bottle from the big Sesweet bottle. Um, oh, and now it doesn't want to go back into this box. Some things just decide to be difficult. Uh, the next one is my highlighter. This is the Natio Enhancer. <laughs> You can't see. I use this every time I do my makeup and it looks exactly the same. So um, it's going to be a while, I think, before I see any progress in that one. Um, the product that costs $10 or less, I have the BYS HD Definition Powder. And that line is where we started. That's where we were last update, and that's where we are this update. It's not sitting properly at the moment, but trust me, when I get it to sit level, that's that's where it is. It's down there. So, making good progress on that one, which I'm really happy about. Um, the coloured eyeliner was the Rimmel Scandalize in bright blue. I have made a bit of progress on this one. So, uh, I forgot to measure it the first time round, like for the first one, 
but that's where I am now. So a little bit of progress and it was actually a little bit longer than that line there because I forgot to, well, my camera really hates it when I do that. Um, I forgot to mark it the first time. Um, the face mist is the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. So I started there, first update, second update. I clearly haven't worn makeup quite as much in the last month. Um, the hydrating product is the Kmart Liquid Face Primer, which is hydrating. Um, I've actually, because I'd finished up my daytime moisturiser that I was using a lot, and I've had some really dry skin down around here. I've had like a really bad itch around here, and I've got like really, really dry skin here. So I've been using this a bit more, which is why there is such a big jump in this product. So I started up there. That was the first update, and that's where I am now. So making good progress on this one. Be another one that I'll get out of my collection. The hair product is the Miracle Hair Treatment from Eleven. Um, this container is really hard to see through, even with like a really, really bright light. But opening it up and looking inside it, that's where I was last time. I forgot to measure where I was when I started, so it would have been up here somewhere. Um, and now I'm down here. This is currently the only hair treatment I'm actually using, so I'll probably end up going through it a little bit faster than I was before. Um, the product that you always repurchase was cuticle oil. Um, even though I feel like I've been using it as much as normal, I haven't made as much progress this month. So that's where I started. That was the last update, and that's straight. Uh, that is this update. It's a little bit deceptive though. There's really not very much product left in it. I kind of have to tip it in order to get anything out of it. So I'm getting there with that one. Um, oh, the Aldous Blush. I knew I'd missed one. I was wondering why I hadn't done that one. Um, Aldous Blush with the Maybelline Wild Blossom. I actually, I don't think I've, I think I've only used this once. So you're not going to be able to see any real change on it. I've been focusing on my other blush in my other project because I think I'm almost ready to hit pan on that one. Uh, the sparkly product was, is, sorry my neck is like so itchy. Um, I forgot to mark this one. I think that's where I am. This doesn't slide down properly. But this is the Cargo Lip Gloss that has, like, no name or anything. Oh, hang on, it's in Sahara. Oh, that's why I can't read it very well because it's clear on the bottom. But I'm pretty sure that's where I am now. That's where I marked last time, and this is basically a brand new product. And I think I'm about down to there. It's a little bit hard to tell. And the last one was the product I added in last time, which is this lipstick from Clean Color, which was a product I bought on Shop Miss A. This is like a really, really super soft lipstick. So when you put it on, you tend to use quite a bit because it's not firm, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I don't like it very much, though. <laughs> I am actually wearing it today underneath a bright pink. Um, it mixes really nicely with like this bright pink I've got to make purple, so like a lighter pinkier purple. So uh, that was where we were when we when I put it in, which was last month. That's about where we are now. So definitely made progress on that. So I need to draw three items out to add in. So I have my pieces of paper in this little box. Lots and lots of them. So I won't look. One and two and three. All right, so we have Favorite highlighter to hit pan. So I'm going to have two highlighters. Yay! <laughs> so 
the next one is a product you always love when you use it. Okay. And the last one is a body product. Alright, I am going to go and find them, and no time at all will pass for you. Okay, so I have picked my products. So, the favourite highlighter, do hit pan on. I don't really have a whole lot of favourite highlighters. Um, not a big user of highlighter. Well, I am now, but I didn't used to be. So, um, But I'm going to go with the Lorac Perfectly Lit Luminous that I got from Tamara J. Like that. So yeah, now I have two like highlighters in this one project. Um, that's oh, super pretty. So that's that one. And then the body product, I picked the Urban Skin Co. Infuse Body Balm. Um, it's just like a little, uh, it's a deluxe sample size one, so that shouldn't be too hard to go through. And the product that you always love when you use it, I'm actually going to pick an eyeshadow uh, out of this LA Colors little um, blushing nudes. And this eyeshadow, oh, a second from the end, this eyeshadow right here is what I am going to use up. So I'm actually kind of aiming to use it up, not just hip pan, because I actually have two of this particular palette. So those are my new products for my project pan roulette collaboration. I'm going to leave the other ladies link down below, so you should go check them out. And if you've come from one of them and haven't seen you before, then hello. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications because YouTube's been funny. And leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.